Hey guys, Adam here with americantrucks.com and today we're taking a closer look at the Type 1 dual rear exit exhaust with burnt tips available for the 04 to 08 5.4 liter F-150. You should be checking this out guys, really specifically if you're looking for a super affordable full capback exhaust with 304 stainless, the highest quality materials in the category, but you're willing to do a little bit extra work to get it installed. Now this guy right off the bat is going to require some custom fabrication in terms of bending some pipes, you're going to have to do some welding for the tips, and there might even be some cutting involved to get everything fit properly, in which case I would recommend handing it over to a professional if you don't have the know-how or proper tools to get it done yourself. Now, in terms of the sound here, guys, as you just heard from our sound clips, I'm giving this three out of five on our loudness meter simply because it is a great sound for a daily driver. It gives you a nice increase in volume, a really aggressive, very crisp tone, but very little to no drone inside the cabin. Now, in terms of appearance here, this is obviously a dual exhaust compared to your factory single side exit. So the dual exhaust is gonna exit right under your rear bumper. And the tips for this particular type one dual exhaust has burnt tips. It's a 304 polished stainless steel tip with about a three and a half inch outlet. And the end here is burnt. So the metal is a little bit of a bluish purple kind of copper hue to it with that little rainbow finish. So this is for the guys looking for a super unique exit as opposed to the more traditional polished. I will let you know though, there is a type two version of this that uses the exact same cap back, but has a slash cut polished tip instead. So if you're not interested in the flat straight cut, slash is available with the type two. Now in terms of quality, 304 stainless steel across the board. So the highest quality, most corrosion and rust resistant option in the category, which is great for guys who are located in wintry weather areas who see a lot of road salt. We know that the road salt can corrode the underbody of your truck, specifically the exhaust materials. So having the 304 goes a long way. The nice thing about this kit is you're spending very little for the 304 stainless. 250 bucks gets you this kit right out of the box. Keep in mind though, custom fab work required for the install. So it might tack on a couple extra bucks there if you have to take it to an exhaust shop to get done properly. With that install, I'm calling it three out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter. For the custom fabrication, you may need to make some additional bends. So you need a pipe bender. You'll have to weld the tips on out of the box. There are no clamps for the tips. It's a welder. And then finally, you're probably gonna have to do some cutting. I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like in just a little bit. So I'm gonna show you guys what our fabrication shop did because we did take it to a custom exhaust shop to get done properly. So what do you say we get started with that walkthrough and then we'll finish things off with the tips. Guys, just to reiterate what's going on here, right out of the box, this exhaust, the Type 1 and the Type 2, because this applies to both, does fit the 04 to 08 F-150, but may require some custom work to get installed properly, which is exactly what happened with ours here on our 07. We did take it to a custom exhaust shop to get fabricated properly by a professional. If you don't have a welder, if you don't have a pipe bender or something to cut some of the piping with, it's not something you can do yourself in your driveway at home. You wanna have the proper tools on hand and the experience, otherwise handing it to a professional is the way to go, like we did. I first wanna walk you through exactly what had to happen to get this installed, and then we'll wrap things up with installing our tips. Starting at the front end of the truck here, we used our factory cat pipe coming out of that flange. So that still remains factory up until the pipe that's going into your muffler. Now before that, we had to install this custom clamp here that's also gonna go into the hanger included in the kit. We had to make a custom bend here to get that to bolt up to the body of the truck there. The clamps and the hangers are a really big custom section of this, this exhaust here. You're gonna have to determine where you want to hang this up to the truck itself using these hangers. Once you determine that, you may need to get custom with the actual bracket. You can see that we bent that at a 90 degree angle and bolted it up to a pre-existing hole on the body of that truck. Now going into our first extension pipe included in the kit, that's gonna connect it to the muffler. That's using one of the U-bolt clamps included in the kit. That's just a pretty simple clamp job. They bolt right up to each other. Going out of the muffler though, that that's where things get really custom with the over axle pipes. All right, so coming out of our muffler, of course, it's converting from the single exhaust to the dual exhaust at this point. So we have the dual outlet. We've got both of our U-bolt clamps clamping in the over axle pipes and the over axle pipes are where we start to get really custom. Where it starts to bend on the driver's side, we had to make a custom bend at this point to get it to bend upward and at the right angle so that it exits at the proper position that we want it to. So that's where you need the pipe bender. So that's something that we had done at our fab shop, of course. The same thing on the driver's side, that starts to get a little bit custom there and it's gonna swing around the spare tire carrier. And that's where you get a little custom with some of the clamps included in the kit. So why don't we head over there and I'll explain what's going on. All right, so focusing on our driver's side next, the over axle pipe is gonna swing around the spare tire carrier and there's a couple of custom bends here cutting into the driver's side section and then it's gonna bend right back to the exit. Now, as you can see, we've got a regular clamp here just bolting them up together. This clamp is actually not bolting pipes together, but it's bolting the hanger bracket to the pipe itself. So it's not connecting any pipes, just the bracket to the pipe. 
Now the bracket is actually bolted up to the frame. Now that's something that is actually pretty easy. There's a pre-existing hole, you just bolt that straight up, no extra custom bends, but that's gonna hang up the driver's side tip and the driver's side tailpipe. Now as you can see, this is hyper extended straight back a little bit farther than we need it to past the rear bumper. That's something that just has to happen. And then at that point, we'll be able to cut off some of the excess to make room for the tip. So about this much of the pipe, we're gonna actually have to cut off and we're gonna replace it with the tip. And as you can see, there's no real way to clamp it on. We're just gonna have to weld it in place right about here. I'll show you guys this process in just a second, but I wanna quickly explain the passenger side. Now looking at the passenger side, I wanna start back here on the over axle section. As you can see, this kind of looks like a crinkle cut French fry a little bit. Now some of that is how it is right out of the box, but we did have to make another custom bend on this end section to help bend it into position to exit where we want to out of the rear bumper. Little bit of a custom bend there, little bit of a custom bend here right under the leaf spring. And this is actually touching, but once your truck, it has the full weight of it on the leaf springs, that will compress up and they won't be connecting anymore. So you don't have to worry about rubbing there or rattling. Finally, we have another one of those custom clamps included in the kit here, bolted right up to the frame. No bends on that one, but you did have to figure out where you wanted to bolt that up because there is no real location for it. We are no longer using any of the factory hanger positions, of course, so that has to happen there to hold the tailpipe up. Finally, you have the final extension pipe again, just coming out a little bit farther than we needed to, but we're gonna hold the tip up and we're gonna cut just about here and then weld the tip into place. And remember, that's gonna apply for the type one and type two, so regardless of what tip style you're using, this is the exact same process. We're gonna be using the type two slash cut tips, but remember this applies to all of them. All right, so at this point, I wanna show you guys what the tip section of the install is gonna look like. And again, if you're taking this to a fab shop, they're probably gonna install it for you anyway, but we just did everything up into the tips so I can show you guys at least a little bit of this process on hand. So as you can see, this extends a little bit too far out, so we have to cut a little bit of that off. Now you wanna make sure you're lining the tips up to exactly where you want it to come out of the rear bumper. I actually like this position, so I'm just gonna line that up just like that. Now, because we have to weld this on, you wanna keep in mind that you need to keep some of this piping here so that it can slide in and give you enough pipe to weld it to. So you're not gonna make your mark to cut at the end. You can see this bend here. We're actually gonna go about an inch back. I'm gonna make my mark right about there. So that way we're gonna cut this off and then we'll be able to slide this tip in about two, two and a half inches, and that's gonna give us the welding point. So that's our mark, just like that. Make the same mark on the other tailpipe, and then we can cut through. All right, again, just on the passenger side here, the same case. I like exactly where this is ending, so I'm just gonna line it up to the edge. We're gonna go an inch in, an inch and a half in to where this first bend is, and then we're gonna go another inch back just to give us a little bit extra pipe to slide this into. All right, now we can grab our Sawzall, and we're gonna cut this guy off. Now, like I said, if you're gonna have a, an exhaust shop or a fab shop do the entire exhaust for you, they're probably gonna do the tips for you as well. But if you are doing the tips yourself like we are, you wanna have a Sawzall with the appropriate blade on it. You wanna have some gloves and of course, some safety glasses. Now, looking at our driver's side at first, what I'm realizing now is my Sharpie mark is right in line with that frame. So I'm just gonna come, instead of straight at the frame, I'm gonna come right to the side of it just like that, just so I can cut all the way through safely without hitting the frame with my blade. All right, so let's cut it off. All right, now we can do the same thing on the other side. All right, so again, this can apply to all of the tips, both the type two and type one. But once you have that cut off, you're basically just gonna wiggle this guy until it slides on. They're almost the same size diameter, so it can be a little bit tough, but the tip does slide back. Line it up where you want it on both sides, and then you're gonna tack weld that into place. All right, so now we can do the tip on the other side. Again, this could apply to the slant cut for the Type 2 or the burnt or polished for the Type 1. All right, line it up exactly where you want it, and now you can weld your tips on.
That's going to wrap this one up, guys. If you're looking to pick up the Type 1 dual rear exit catback exhaust available with the burnt tips for the 04 to 08 5.4 F-150, you can pick yours up for your truck right here at AmericanTrucks.com.